Hi friends, welcome to Pre-Dev Tech. Today let's talk about the all new files app in iPadOS 26. Now here you can see you can add filters in the files app like tag, size, kind, date, added, opened, modified, and more. Then you can switch views between column, list, or icon. So you can also open files with your preferred app. For example, here I'm opening an image with the sketchbook app instead of the default preview, just like on Mac OS. And you can make it permanent by going to uh, Get Info and selecting Always Open with your preferred app. Now you can drag and drop files between multiple windows, thanks to iPadOS 26. Just open two files windows from the dock, you can now open multiple windows from there and drag and drop files between them. You can even open new windows um, from the brand new top options just like on Mac OS by tapping new window. You can open up to four equal windows and drag and drop between them, just place them over the heading. Now you can also pin your favorite folder to the dock. Just drag your folder to the dock and it will stay there. Um, here, I'm adding the downloads folder. If dragging doesn't work, you can uh, long press on the folder, scroll and select add to dock and it will appear there. Uh, you can also customize folders by color, tags and icons. Uh, here, you can see I'm adding a new tag, school. When I tap on school, it will only open that particular folder. You can also assign an icon to the folder. Another handy feature, you can now view files by group. So your files will be organized automatically, like all music in one place, all PDFs in one place, and all images in one place. Another big feature, you can now connect any external SSD and copy files between them. Just plug it into the Type-C port and it will appear. Here you can see I'm dragging and dropping files between the SSD and iPad folders. And here's a game changer. You can now format SSDs just like on Mac. Simply right click or long press, tap erase, and you'll see different options like Apple File System, XFAT for Windows and Mac, and MS-DOS. Another great feature is background tasks. You can download a big file and still do other tasks. It will continue downloading in the background. That's it for now. For more, check out my full iPadOS 26 and iPad desk setup videos linked in the description. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and let me know in the comments which new files app feature you're most excited to try. See you in the next one!